Hello, hello tribe, welcome back to the channel. Let's check in, let's see what's happening next week, week and a half. Pile number one is with the in-between tarot. Pile number two is a super narrow tarot. Pile number three is texture tarot. Choose yours and I'm going to see you in timestamps. Hello group number one, let's see what is up with you next week, week and a half. And today we're gonna do a spread. We're gonna look at the overall energy. We have the six of coins. What are we leaving behind? The page of wands, why are we leaving that behind? The ten of swords. Mm -hmm. The page of cups. What are we walking towards still? Four of Wands, King of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. Let me push it up a little bit so you can see better. Perfect. What are we excited about? Eight of Coins, the Hangman, and Death. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. Pile number one, people. Next week is all about um, good balance in your finances. So for a lot of you, you may have kind of this urge either to save, to write things down, to see where your money is going, to have a better relationship with money, especially those who have been practicing that. Um, how can I how can I keep as much money as possible in my wallet? How can I buy things that I need but also keep as much as possible in my wallet? And it could be because you have something in, big in mind that you want to buy further down the line or some of you just overall learning how to have a better relationship with your money. You may be thinking about, hey, do I need that purse or do I really need to buy this? I don't know salmon um can i find salmon somewhere else because it is tends to be pricey somewhere else in a different shop and i'm going to save maybe five quid things like that you're very conscious about your money you're not paranoid though it feels like someone is looking at money from a really kind of grow, grown-up perspective and they want that money to last what we're leaving behind this child i don't know why this is coming through um Childishness. Um, maybe someone that you've been dealing with was pretty childish. Maybe your own child was um, was showing you tantrums, giving you tantrums. Maybe there could be also a situation where you felt that you acted like a child in one particular situation, and you go, "I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I am mature. I am much more wise, and I need to change my behavior." Someone's behavior is changing here. Now, another thing what I'm seeing, what we're leaving behind, for some of you, we are finishing a project. Feels like an end of a chapter. So it could be in work, could be in your hobby. Or maybe for some of you, you are ending a chapter with a particular person and you have to say bye to them. What are we walking towards? This is a lot of fun, actually. I like it to see, I like to see that next week, week and a half. Um, you may expect a party, a gathering, maybe you don't know about it just yet, we're gonna pop up next week, week and a half. I'm also seeing a literal pop-up, so maybe some of you want to uh, try and see how your business would go and have a little pop-up and, and sell whatever you're selling. Could be food, could be jewelry, whatever it is that you are you are doing. I'm just picking up particular um, scenarios here. There's a lot of fun that someone is having in a family setting or someone that you consider your family, like friends. It feels like there is celebration to be had. It feels like people are playful. Some of you will want to go and experience events 
someone might be going to a gig, to a concert, to a theater. It feels like next week is a lot to do with play and you're also being encouraged to um, search what is happening in your town, what's happening in your city. Is there a play that you want to see? Is there a theater that you want to go to? Is there a movie that you like that is going to be coming up? You are being encouraged to kind of let loose a little bit, but at the same time, by knowing how much money you want to spend on that. So for example, if someone wasn't out for a while and they were like, you know what, I have this sum of money that I've been saving for something that's going to come up. Let me see what is the best option for me. Let me see what seems like it's a good deal for my heart and also I'm not overspending. So you probably wouldn't want to go and see a movie that costs like 30 or 40 quid. Um, you would probably choose to invest that money into something else that also entertains you, but it's much cheaper. Again, at the background of all of this is money. How can I have fun but spend not a crazy amount of money on that? So how can I live, not exist, and have fun. Now, what we have here about here, um, also, by the way, one more thing. I'm seeing a birth of a child. I don't know if this is a project of yours or this is an actual child that's being birthed into the family. Someone is saying congratulations and um, if this is you, you know that you are pregnant. But this could be someone in your family, your close friend circle. I'm also seeing someone who's longing for a person or who's very patient waiting for the person. Um, and they're waiting for the person, you may, you may know about this already, because someone needs to get shit done. So for example, um, someone texts you that, hey, I'm coming over in a couple of weeks and you know that you are, you miss that person but you have to wait for them because you need to finish work to be able to get off work and come to you. Mm, could be different circumstances, why someone is waiting for someone, but overall, whoever that person is, they have a lot of patience and they can't wait to see that person. I'm seeing strong relationship with a male in your life, could be a father, doesn't have to be, could be a, a person who just has very mm, open heart and they are not afraid of being vulnerable. You are happy about your work overall here next week, week and a half. Um, you are being recognized for a good job that you have done. Would it be a client giving you feedback, customer, your boss, your colleague? It seems that you are on a good track here. You also, if you've been looking for new ideas, how to be a little bit more consistent, um, how to get better at discipline next week, you are finding the way that works best for you and the moment you find that way with a hanged man is when transformation will take place you will never go back to doing things the same way feels like you are uncovering something that is really valuable for you a technique a structure a way to live your life way to approach work situations that help you out big time it could be, for example, someone finding a program that does half of the job for them and they go, fuck, I have so much time now. I can use this time for something else. I'm never coming back of doing um, things the old way. I hope this made sense. Okay, let's tidy the desk. <clears throat> and let's see what else. I want to pull a couple of cards from... Let's see which deck is calling me okay all right let's see we have trigger statement i feel so low true statement i persevere joyful card release the worry and fear and allow your confidence trust and strength take you to your goal I feel like that's exactly where you're at next week week and a half I don't feel like you feel low if you do you're looking for ways out you are consciously looking how to better your everyday life how to get more energy where's your energy leaking towards to 
we have three of cups again reunions and celebrations is the vibe next week week and a half we have six of autumn which is the same card that we started with from the in between tarot it says your success and prosperity have allowed you to pay off debts acquire wise loans or receive a grant or scholarship in return for heaven's blessings be sure to share the wealth with others through donations of time or money to reputable charities yes i forgot to mention that some of you will be very keen on um, helping others some of you may want to work i don't know food bank is coming through here for me you may want to donate to food bank you may want to be one of those volunteers in some way you are giving back next week week and a half we also have reverse disassociation okay let's clarify this why is this card here? Why is this card here? Oh, wow. Um, this is a card that is pretty intense. In the description of this card, it says numb. And just looking at this woman, she feels numb. Now, some of you are going to be looking at um, these dissoci um, dissociative tendencies, may I say. Um, that you have been experiencing lately or you might be experiencing the next week and they're very connected to some sort of traumatic event in your life and it could be specifically what I'm picking up an accident something that was quick that was unexpected and shocking and uh, you may want to go to therapy you may want to do a bit of um, what's the word I'm looking for oh fuck I forgot the word regression work that would be uh, pretty helpful for you going back to the time and place to shift things around to find healing to tell yourself to help to hold your own hand whatever is undone there whatever is not finished it has to be finished because it keeps someone in between those two worlds and they want to be present in order to live a healthy mentally healthy emotionally healthy life i hope this made sense part number one if you need more content find me on patreon and i'll catch you in the next one bye hello tripod number two let's see what we got for you for the next week we can have Let's look at the overall energy. Knight of Wands. Let's look at what we leave in behind. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Let's see what we walk in towards to. Seven of Swords, the Emperor, and the Four of Cups. And let's see what we excited about three of cups queen of pentacles and the high priestess okay right pile number two uh, overall energy let's look by the way at the bottom of a deck i haven't peeked at it we have the page of cups okay curiosity next week we're gonna have it feels like your overall theme is let me get you done let me explore places let me explore people let me see what i can do with my connections it seems like you're overall very fast moving here um it's not an energy that is stagnant you're getting stuff done you want to meet people you're probably going to be calling people around if you need advice or if you need information that's going to be useful you're not afraid of socializing and you want to embrace that and specifically i'm getting you may be reaching out for help or reaching out for information about a specific situation that is really important to you i'm not showing exactly what it is you will know it you will know about it next week week and a half what you're leaving behind is 
some sort of co collaboration um, could be that you are split in ways with your teammates uh, could be that you split in ways with your co-workers or your co-worker is leaving the job um, I'm also seeing that someone who had walls up and they had this kind of like they pretended that they had a cold heart they are breaking those walls down and they are becoming much realer and more authentic I'm seeing that something that you might have worked on um, maybe put on hold for some reason it's not a bad thing maybe it has to something that has to ripen it seems like and I can't wait and I can can't look at this thing and watch it ripen I don't have enough time so let me put it aside literally like someone would uh, buy bananas and put it on the windowsill or on the sun for it to ripen you're not looking at it you're just there you just put it on the side and you continue with your cooking so I don't know what this means for some of you but that's something that you're doing you're putting something on a side that could be collaborative work could be some sort of project whatever the case now what you're walking to, uh, towards to I would say there is a bit of a heads up here avoid people there might be a potential um, liar <laughs> around you next week we're gonna have there might be someone who wants to kind of act in shady ways someone who may tell you one thing do the other someone who pretends very much that they love you but they go and do some dirty business on the side someone who uh, promises you uh, a good job environment good work environment but once you do sign the contract you see that everything is so shitty there is going to be a situation where you're going to have to say no to someone okay next week we're going to have but i feel like you kind of know who this might be about whoever this person is they might be very high ego someone who's me 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 and if i don't get my way uh then i'm gonna get pretty pissed off this might be also someone who is like my way or highway someone who cares very much about what people think of them and um they kind of selective the they wouldn't give a shit what someone who is not as high in society or doesn't have as nice of a house thinks of them they care about impressing people with money or status or impressing people who from whom they can benefit in the future in some way so look out for players okay uh, your intuition will be on point next week we can have you will let me adjust the camera slightly you will sense it if you don't know who this is you will sense it you will thank your intuition also a friend of yours may give you a heads up about the situation now what you're happy about is literally friendships um, get-togethers gatherings I'm also seeing um, someone who is getting quite a lot of compliments next week um, they're very well dressed uh, it doesn't have to be something super fancy but it's um, the colors match nicely um, I can almost smell the perfume someone who's tidy someone who's classy and they bring this energy with them into the room and people's heads are turning so you may have this urge next week week and a half to um, take care of yourself better or to if you before maybe put your hair in the bun you will decide to style your hair in some way it doesn't have to be again something crazy but you're very much about self-care you may want to go shopping and buy yourself something nice especially if you haven't done it for a really long time um, it's all about self-care but in a way it's it's about self representation okay so some of you you are dressing up for an event for an interview or for some other occasion others of you just gonna be in this kind of vibe I wanna this week I feel like I wanna dress this way I wanna put some makeup on or I wanna do my hair I wanna go for a hairstylist things like that okay it's gonna help you out very much um, also if you have low self-confidence and if you have to be in places next week we're gonna have spend some time pampering yourself taking care of yourself before you leave the house and watch how your energy changes your head is a little bit higher up you know your chin um, I would say 
for my people who <laughs> okay someone what they are doing next week we're gonna have I don't know why I'm seeing a particular situation where they have to impress someone and particularly I'm seeing a female who is trying to kind of wrap a person around their around her finger she's using her femininity her attractiveness to get what she wants but not in a manipulative way it's very subtle it's a, a, a glance that she gives someone it's I don't know what the reasons are but she's using again high priestess and the queen of pentacles this is a very abundant energy she brings that abundance with herself and then she maybe winks at someone or she looks at someone a certain way she knows what kind of energy she is um, transferring to them and therefore she's able to get what she wants mm -hmm. I'm also seeing a situation where um, a woman before leaving a house puts on super freaking sexy underwear no one can see that underwear but she knows that she looks good she knows what kind of underwear she wears and therefore it boosts her confidence she even changes the way she walks some of you may want to try this out next week we're gonna have <laughs> watch how people uh, look at look at you once you walk in on a street is the energy that you give out to people so it's a lot to do for you pile number two next week we're gonna have what kind of energy I'm bringing to the room and what can this energy do for me so you're very intentional okay you are very intentional some of you will have this urge to explore especially if you haven't gone on dates for a while you will want to explore dating again um, in a very playful way I'm seeing here others of you if you have partners you will want to um, explore new things potentially in the bedroom or this is either or literally what I'm seeing or go and find a new restaurant that pops something that is somehow sensual it pleases your senses it could be the food it could be sex or it can be both so I hope that this made sense, pan number two. And you have a great week, which I feel like you will have. There is a lot of playfulness here and a lot of fire. And just watch out for, you know, any shady business. Don't be paranoid, but keep one eye, one eye out there, okay? <laughs> and if you need more content, find me on Patreon. I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hello, pal number three. Let's see what is up with you next week. We're gonna have what are the energies like? So let's look at the overall energy. You have the full. Nice. What are we leaving behind? What are we leaving behind? Temperance, the page of cups, and the nine of swords what are we walking towards to nine of pentacles the tower and the eight of pentacles and what are we excited about the lovers mm -hmm. death and the moon this is mysterious i need one more card the hangman okay let me adjust you slightly let's look at the bottom of the deck we have the knight of cups right you are very romantic if this is not you next week we're gonna have someone is really romantic um they really want to focus on instead of maybe thriller movies they want to watch uh, drama or romance movies and they may be choosing kind of pastel colors for the way they dress anything that's in their head romantic they're doing it subconsciously and why are they doing that because they subconsciously inviting romance 
love dating in their life. Even if you have a partner, it's just something that your soul will desire next week, week and a half, and you're gonna start doing things that you don't even notice that has a connection to romance, okay? All right, let's look. Mm, overall energy, the fool. You're gonna be quite excited to try new things next week, week and a half. You're gonna be probably uh, someone in your friend circle who goes, hey, you ever tried bungee jumping? No, nope. shall we go? It doesn't have to be so intense. It could be a uh, toned down, but you're very much about trying new things. Could be trying new makeup, for example, look, right? Trying new uh, style of shoes that you never thought it would suit you, but you wanna just try it out to see. Um, changing your exercise routine, going, visiting the place that you've never been to, or you're overall quite curious next week, we're gonna have, and you're like, oh, let's go on adventure. Some of you literally may want to plan an adventure. Maybe uh, buying tickets for active holiday. But specifically, I'm seeing that there's going to be people involved there. It's, I'm being shown a circle, a group of people who also like the same thing. It would be great for you next week. We're gonna have to focus on activities that spark something in you. And especially if those activities involve other people, you're going to feel that you are connecting to your tribe a little bit more. You may even meet new people who may turn into long-term friends. Now, this is especially for those who are looking for new connections. <clears throat> what you are leaving behind now what you're leaving behind it seems like is this suffering um, feeling suffocated in some way uh, some of you had some health issues recently or maybe you still do or someone in your family um, if this is someone else that this is someone who's really close to you because he's shown up in your cards what we're leaving behind is anxiety dark time depression feeling that we are suffocated by life or by a specific event. Any health issues that you may have had, you're finding ways how to better yourself, you're finding a good doctor, practitioner, you're basically finding a tool that helps you get out of that situation or to minimize pain. What you're walking towards to a lot of unexpected things, especially if you do have your own business or if you're planning of having a business, it seems like, this is not a bad tarot card by the way, it seems like a lot of surprises may happen in your business. Now this could be increased following overnight, your video popping um, somewhere, I don't know, on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. This could be um, you getting quite a lot of sales all at once this could be you coming up with a great idea in the workplace and being honored for that this could be you i don't know inventing something this could be you getting an x sum of money from somewhere getting some sort of support or investment next week is great financially wise work wise for you and it's because you believe in yourself a lot of you have worked your asses off here in order to succeed and you're getting a payback but i don't know why god universe says allow miracles to happen please do not ask too many questions about how this will happen uh, we want you to be excited when it does okay now <clears throat> what we're happy about what we're happy about is this feels like again i'm in this kind of gloomy romantic movie this could be you finding a partner going on a date with someone that you have a lot in common with this could be you having a really good cozy time with your partner overall just a very kind of cozy vibe that i'm getting from sorry guys my phone storage was full <clears throat> it's good that i looked at it the moment it happened otherwise i would have continued talking Okay, let's pull more cards. Let's see what else we have here for you. All right, let's pull from mystical reading. 
cards, the animal tarot, the dreams of Gaia, healing and clarity deck. If we'll need more, we'll pull more. Let's see, heart chakra, okay. Grace, trigger statement, what do they have that I don't? True statement, we are all special. Allow your inner critic to be silenced as you find perfection in yourself and those around you. And with that, I heard simplicity. Simplicity is going to be my perfection for the week or going back to basics. Uh, especially if someone is working, I'm seeing like on a design project of some sort. <clears throat> You may want to go back to the drawing board and scratch some th some things out because I'm picking up that someone has overcrowded. Imagine that there is a painting, overcrowded their painting. Okay, the child, we're gonna look into that. We have six of autumn. Your success and prosperity have allowed you to pay off debts, acquire wise loans or receive a grant or scholarship. In return for heaven's blessings, be sure to share the wealth with others through donations of time or money to reputable charities. Now, this is kind of a theme of all the piles I'm picking up. People may want to give back. People may want to uh, donate. People may want to volunteer next week, week and a half. This is um, a time of giving back overall. And I'm seeing a justice card in my head right now. We also have examine your integrity. We're gonna read about this, even though it's pretty straightforward, but there may be a sentence or two that's important for you to hear about. Clarifying the child, ace of swords. Now, if you do have children next week, we're gonna have, they're going to answer some questions that you may have. Um, and it's not that you're asking them. Maybe there's something that's on your head, on your mind. And you go, oh, I don't know how to sort it out. And your child, say for example, they're playing and they do something and you go, oh my God, they just gave me a clue. So a lot of ideas overall, maybe for some of you who are planning to have uh, families or if you don't want children, even you will be getting ideas about fa uh, fatherhood or motherhood or children as a whole. And this feels like it's going to be in a download form of some sort. Let's talk about examining your integrity. Let me get the book from the shelf. <clears throat> okay. Stand strong in your convictions. Your I has been weakened, which means that you are vulnerable to other people's influence. Again, other people are involved here in some way. Look, trigger statement, what do they have that I don't? Don't compare yourself to others next week, week and a half. It's just going to work against you. Only you can decide through clear objective thinking and feelings what is best for you in the situation. Take the time you need to go within, look at the bigger picture and ask, what are the long-term consequences of this decision? You are being asked to examine your personal integrity and make a stand for something that aligns with your strongest ideals. The choices you make now will not only impact your life, but also your experience in the spiritual worlds and your future lives. Even though you may feel that you are given up a fantastic opportunity, be aware that new potent possibilities are opening up to you and these possibilities will allow you to influence others in a truly positive manner, thus creating ripples of goodness in the world. So, I hope this made sense. If you need more content, find me on Patreon and thank you for being here with me today. I will see you in the next one. Bye.